You want to learn how to vlog? Well, it's easy. I'll tell you all the steps with this little guide. Let's get started. I'm not really good at intros. That was really shitty of me. Half eleven on a Monday, sirens go off. So, it's probably time I started talking about what tips you need for vlogging. Number one, ignore the world around you. This is by far the most important thing I can teach for vlogging. Now, the reason why this is the most important thing is because this is the biggest problem that people have when it comes to vlogging. And that's confidence and being aware of your surroundings. Never go into vlogging thinking you've got too much stage fright because when you're vlogging in public as long as I have, you get to the point where you realize that no one cares. You can get some funny looks, yes, but remember, what are they gonna remember in a week? They won't remember a thing. So in that time, just keep it you and the camera. Number two, I don't know what to title this one. Now, when vlogging, I highly advise getting either like a mini tripod or a selfie stick or something like that, but just never hold the camera itself. When you're vlogging, make sure you've got an outstretched arm if you don't have a wide angle lens. I don't have the problem because I have a wide angle lens. But if you do have one of those really wide close in zoom lenses, you're gonna have to hold it out as far as you can because we don't wanna be like some of those unsavory copycat channels where they hold it like this. Okay, so uh, we're uh, going to the museum today. Oh, and it's really nice. Number three, your voice. A lot of people find it difficult talking themselves just to a camera because they haven't got used to it, they haven't practiced, or they haven't like practiced in front of a mirror or anything like that. This is probably a key fundamental point. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because most people, when they talk to the camera, they get very timid. This is all basically down to practice. Because you and I, right now, if you're watching this, you feel like I'm having a conversation with you right now. Treat the camera like it's a person. You are having a conversation with a person because when you actually talk to someone, and you don't sound like this. So, uh, hey, we're gonna be uh, going to this really nice place over here and I'm quite excited about it. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. No one talks like that. Number four. Make it interesting. Now you may notice that when I'm vlogging most of the time, I cut away quite a lot to shots like this, this, and this. The reason why I do this is because, one, it's more interesting. Yes, it is way more difficult to pull off, but the payoff is better. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ride Doris from one side of the car park to the other. Now, imagine there's music playing over this. Actually, I'll add some over now. I'm going somewhere. Now that's fine for vlogging, but watch what happens when we add some extra bits in there. See how much more interesting it is to watch. Tip number five. This is something for when you're editing. This is not something that you can help while you're recording because I have to do this even right now. When you're editing and you're recording something that you're talk where you're talking to the camera, make sure that whenever you have a pause, you cut out the silence. Because whenever someone leaves it in, it's just, it leaves like an awkwardness to it and it doesn't really work. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to say a sentence with plenty of pauses. One's gonna be edited, one's gonna be unedited. So, uh, I was going down to the store the other day and I saw this woman. She wasn't looking her best. I'm not going to, uh, to lie. So what I did was I gave her all of my money, kinda, and it all worked out from there. I honestly don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Now let's watch that again, but this time it's edited to change the pacing. So, I was going down to the store the other day, and I saw this woman. She wasn't looking her best, I'm not going to lie. So what I did was I gave her all of my money, kinda. Now I know this isn't the best example, but you can see my point what happens when you change the pacing by just editing out all of the pauses and all of the silences. And tip number six, this is something that I can't stress enough, but whenever you're going somewhere and you're wanting to talk to someone, just leave the camera on. Even if it's something as simple as, hang on, let me grab my other camera. Even if it is something as, as simple as just holding it down here, just talking to someone like you are to me here. 
I just hold my camera here, and the camera just records it all, and you never know what might occur in that. But I just want to make something perfectly clear. These are just basic steps that you can take to become, like, vlogging for when you go to conventions or whatever project you've got going. You just want to film the behind the scenes. This is the basic stuff behind decent vlogging. I mean, yes, I could cover over other facts, like how I do my time lapses, how I uh, do all my effects, how I mix all my stuff. That stuff is a little bit more complicated, but it is not a necessary point. Like tip number four of this vlog is not necessary, but if you want to make the, your vlog that little just bit more special, it'll grab your audience by the balls. But yes, this is my simple guide on just how to do some basic vlogging. Um, I hope it's helped. Uh, let me know in the comments if, you, if it's helped. I'm going to keep this video unlisted. If you're watching this, then you've either asked for it or I, I've given it to you just, just for a little bit of ease of mind. But I hope you've enjoyed. I hope it's helped. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.